hello guys welcome to the channel and uh, today in this tutorial we will be learning three tools in photoshop so the first tool that we'll be looking at the brush tools how to use them with an example and then we'll move forward towards healing brush tools patch tools and then we'll be looking at the clone stamps tools and the pattern stamp tool all right so let's get started with the first brush tool all right so you can select uh, brush tool here or uh, you can press B also in the keyboard so you can see that's a uh, small brush uh, I have got so if you want to increase the size you can go here and you can increase the size you can change the hardness of the brush and if you want to do this by using keyboard shortcut then you have to press open curly braces to decrease the size and close curly braces to increase the size in the system and uh, if you right click you will get options of what all different type of brushes that are installed in your system so right now the brush that I'm using is a solid brush like this and uh, there are a lot of options in this brush you can select the round brush, square brush and uh, from internet I have downloaded brush presets so you can also download them then after installing the presets you will get these type of options also so this leaf is actually a brush I can use it like this so once you download the preset from the internet then you can simply go and click here load brushes so it will automatically load all the brushes that you have downloaded you just need to point this to the path alright so I have downloaded a couple of brushes that I want to show you right now so these all are my brushes that I have downloaded and I can use in my work like this so I have to decrease the size And these are quite interesting brushes so if I if you want to clear everything from this window then you can do this by going to window and history there we have and just delete the starting one all right so this is the brush that I'll be using if you want to change this color then you can always click here and change the color whatever you want it's simple and uh, I would recommend you to use this brush as a layer that will help you in modifying the outlines of the this brush as well as changing the colors to a gradient so I'll show you an example just clear everything So just click here for new layer and then apply your brush when you double click on this layer you can rename it and double click towards the right hand side then you will get different type of options available so you can click on gradient overlay and you can choose any gradient that you want to apply to this brush you can increase the opacity like this also we have options of the styling of this particular gradient we can choose from linear radial angle reflected and diamonds so brushes are a very important part of Adobe Photoshop and uh, it's quite easy to learn them just open a blank document and uh, start experimenting with the brushes and uh, if you go here you can find all the brush available you can change the you can select any brush that you want you can change the space spacing roundness you can change the size everything that you can uh, transform in this particular window all right let's move on to the second part of this tutorial in which we'll be looking towards the spot healing brush tool and healing brush tool
Okay guys, so in this particular part, I'll be showing you how to use Healing Brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Once you right click there, you will get two options, Spot Healing Brush tool and Healing Brush tool. So the purpose of these tools are to repair your image or any portrait image that you want to repair. So let me show you by an example. Suppose I have an image with me and uh, let me create few spots on her face. Suppose these type of spots are uh, available on the uh, face and uh, we want to remove these spots. So what we'll do is we'll go to our healing brush tool and then we will select the area by which we want to replace this particular so i can see that this particular area looks fine to me so i'll select this by pressing alt and then i have to press on the spot that i want to remove so once i left click there then it will automatically be removed as you can see so i'll do it again i'll press alt and I'll select the base area with which I want to modify the spot area. So I selected here and if I click here, so it will be automatically modified. So this tool is really very helpful if you are working with portraits. So similarly, I'll do this for every spot that I have in this image. So let me show you what happens if I select some type of area that is not matching with my colors as you can see it is not uh, allowing me to do this because it's not matching with the nearby colors all right now let's go to the spot healing brush tool what it does it is it automatically try to correct the area around your spot so let me create spots again and uh, if i click on spot healing brush tool so it automatically judges what type of area is available around your spot and it automatically corrects so all you have to do is you just need to place this spot healing brush tool over the mark that you want to remove and simply click there see so it works like a magic and uh, it is really very helpful in this Photoshop. Okay, so the next tool that uh, we have here is patch tool. So let's create some patches on the face. Like this. So what you have to do is just select this patch tool or press J on your keyboard and uh, select the area that you want to correct and simply move this to the area by which you want to replace like this. So as you can see that uh, what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the area that contains patches and I'm removing it by moving the cursor towards the corrected one area so it is automatically uh, changing all the spots and patches that uh, we have on, our, on the face so very easy tool and uh, that's why it belongs to the same menu system in where we have healing brush tools and uh, spot healing brush tool What I want to do is I want to create a clone of this dog. So what I will do is I have to press alt and select whatever area I want to clone. So for using clone tool, I will be recommending you guys to do all these work in a new layer. So I'll be creating a new layer here and uh, then press your clone stamp tool and select your background layer on which we have to clone the area 
press alt and make a selection then go back to layer 1 and change the size of the brush if you want to and then start clicking so as you can see it is creating a beautiful clone an exact replica of this dog here so the benefit of doing this work with a layer is that we can easily remove this extra part that we have got of another dog so what we have to do is we will be simply selecting the eraser tool or press e button then increase the size of the brush and then remove this extra part that we have got in our image any extra part that you want to remove you can remove it so as you can see that uh, this is a beautiful clone that we have just generated so the second part of this tool is this pattern stamp tool so what it basically does is it creates patterns so you have to select the type of pattern that you want to create suppose I'll be selecting this pattern just use a new layer here and draw a pattern alright now change the opacity of this pattern so I'll show you the difference that we have now so as you can see that there is there's a pattern on the dog just that we have just cloned so you can increase the opacity or decrease as per your requirements you can unhide also this particular layer so it will so now then uh, we will be reverting back to the original changes so this tool is useful if you want to create some pattern in your images so these are two clone tools and uh, clone stamp tool is very powerful because it creates exact replica of the image that we are that we are working and that we want to create so by practicing this tool you will be easily be mastering the functionality of this tool and uh, how to create a perfect clone okay guys that's all for now in this tutorial hope you have enjoyed it and uh, do share like or comment in the below section if you have any queries regarding any of the tools so this particular tutorial was for beginners who are new to the photoshop and want to learn quickly do let me know if uh, you're looking for any particular tutorial and stay tuned to this channel for more interesting updates thank you all for now bye bye